bitch. What did you say? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for joining. And I hope you enjoy this quick eye makeup that I filmed for you. I just was playing with my makeup and I was like, you know what, let me film this look because it kind of I kind of feel like creativity coming on. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. No. Alright, so let's get started on this eye look. I was just doing it real quick and I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and let me just film it for you guys. And I think I resolved the whole lighting. My white balance was off, which made everything like really dark and or too bright and it just look it was just really weird. Like it looked like I had a like, Okay, so let's jump into this. I was just gonna do my makeup and take some pictures, but then I was like, you know what? Let me just let me just show you this look because I thought it was really pretty. Let's start. My subculture palette, and I'm going to go in with. Damn, I should have kept all the brushes out that I used. Go in with uh, Unity. And I'm going to just take this on this IT brush. This is actually like a concealer brush, but I'm just going to pop this all on the lid. I used a lot of palettes, guys, for this look, but mostly Anastasia palettes. Like, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going in with my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. And um, you don't have to go out and buy all these palettes. You can use whatever color that is similar if you're trying to recreate this look or you want to use different colors but the same, like the same method. Um, because I use probably like six palettes or five palettes. So. So I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star and I'm gonna take, what is this? I'm gonna take Courtney and I'm gonna put that all in my crease. Same brush and I'm gonna go in with my Prism palette and I'm gonna take Saturn this color right here right yeah that color right there and I'm going to put this in the crease again and I'm just going to slightly from the bomb I get these in my ipsy glam bag so which is really cute but it, that's this meat matrimony yeah it's like this just purpley like eggplant type color so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that right in there Like, I kind of like the way this eye is coming out, but like, do you have a certain eye that's your favorite? Because this eye is my favorite and this one, not so much. Like, I just feel like this eye shape does what I want it to do. And this one's kind of like, mm. And I'm going to go back and forth with Saturn and in this purple shade until I get the blend that I want. Now I'm gonna take my shape tape and a concealer brush and I'm going to cut the crease.
I'm gonna go in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the color Vermeer, this really shiny one. I've used it a couple of times in my past videos. This is one of my favorite and I'm gonna put that right in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna pack it down. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with my Prism palette and I'm going to take this color right here. This color right here, what is it called? I'm going to take Lure. 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 And I'm going to just put that right next to Vermeer. Oh shit, you know what? I didn't use this color. I used <sighs> Tarnus Pro. This is the color I used. I used the color Indie. This color right here. Guys. <gasps> I don't freaking know. No biggie. No biggie. So we'll just take Indie and we'll just put it right on top and mix it. No big deal. We're gonna take, and I'm just using this Anastasia brush, this brush that comes with their palettes. I really like their, their brushes. Take my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna just go in with this kind of like mandarin color right here. That guy. And I'm going to just lay it on my outer crease. And how, what I'm gonna do is make it like really cut. I'm just gonna use a sharp corner and I'm just gonna cut it. And then I'm also going to take MAC in nylon and I'm just going to put it a little bit, I'm just going to put a little bit right here in the center. And I'm actually going to highlight my brow with it. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, so I'm just gonna go back in with my Prism palette and I'm gonna take this obs Obsidian. I'm gonna take Obsidian on a flat brush. I forgot to add liner first and then stamp because it gives something for the shadow to really like stick on. So let's just so put the eyeliner down first and then stamp. So I have this little liquid, I have this little um, glitter, it's kind of like glitter glue but it's liquid. I got it a long time ago, um, a few years ago at the um, makeup show and it came with um, glitters and everything but what I'm going to use is this Makeup Forever um, glitter in number 8 and it's like this just real nice pretty color. I dip it in the 
liquid and then I dip it in the glitter and it like just forms this would actually be a really like probably pretty base so I'm just going to follow that line and this um, brush is really fine like you could probably get like a painter brush I see I like this eye better than this eye this eye looks like the ugly stepchild than this eye you know you just they're like your eyebrows they're not supposed to be twins they're sisters well sister you need to get it together with this fucking lift it's cute and this one's just like it needs to be lifted like it needs to be like that do i need a do i need an eyebrow lift back in with that like mandarin orange from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take like this little lip brush and I'm just going to put this like right in here this this eye is going to be the death of me it's just not wanting to cooperate with this eye. This eye? This eye doesn't match this eye. And I'm really getting irritated. Really. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs. This is the 210 The Siren palette. This came out a couple years ago. And... It looks like that it's so pretty it's so pigmented so I'm gonna go in with this like copper gold right here and I'm gonna put that on the bottom and I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and you're probably like I don't see no copper gold but um, you'll just see <laughs> going back in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and I am taking this purple right here and I'm going right on top <music> blending tapered brush that I used in the crease and I'm just going to use whatever's on it and blend that out and smoke it Anastasia Moonchild um, highlighting palette and I'm gonna take purple horseshoe this color right here and I'm gonna go back in with the same pencil brush and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in my inner tear and then I'm actually going to bring it over and mix it in with that darker purple. Cute. All right, and then that is the eyes, and that's it. I mean, other than I need to put some mascara on the bottom lash line, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish up my face, put on a lip, and I will show you the final look. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, I had some trouble in the video, as you can see. One eye is not the same than this eye. This is probably my favorite eye. <sighs> but this homegirl needs to get it together. Hopefully next time we'll start with this eye and try to mimic it. But 
I saved my good eye for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you do something a little different than what I did as far as starting with the eyes. Do your good eye first and not your bad eye. And maybe you'll have the same type of thing. But I hope that this was informative. And until next time, I will see you later.